everybody, it's PJ. I wanted to introduce you to Topaz's triplets. Oh, I said triplets. Triplet girls and a boy. She makes quadruplets. I said that wrong. So she had three girls and then a boy last night. And the girls are Thumbelina, Tinkerbell, Tuptim, and the boy is Tumnus. A little bit worried about the the boy. His stomach's got it's just a little strange, so he'll either he'll either be fine or he won't. But uh, we're just keeping a kind of close eye on him. And I honestly can't tell you which is which <laughs> right now. They don't have their collars on. Um, I think that's the boy. <laughs> I don't have the glasses on. Can they look at your tail, please? Yes, that's the boy. So that's the boy, and then those three are the girls. I don't pass. That scraping sound is Fletcher's working on the cleaning the stalls. So they're all doing well. The boy is bigger than the girls, so we're going to be keeping, um, uh, particularly the one. Um, uh, an extra close eye on her, making sure that she gains weight. We usually weigh them once a day, but she'll probably be weighed uh, twice a day, just to make sure that she's still gaining. And so there's the little one there. There's the littlest one. Hi, baby. Are you coming to say hello? Look at you all friendly already. Yes. <laughs> Such a cute eh? So I'm pretty sure this little one is the Thumbelina one. And that the one with the white leg is Tinkerbell. And the other, the big one, is Tuptim. I don't have any milk for you down there. There's no milk on my legs. <laughs> There's no milk. Are you mad that she's, are you mad that she's by me? <laughs> Topaz is like, um, get back here. Fletcher, are you cleaning out this stall or should I put more stuff down? Uh, put more stuff down. <laughs> this is where she delivered them this corner. So she's a big fan of this corner. Yes, she is. I don't like that being on the ground. Don't like what? That. Mm-hmm. You can probably just take it out if you want. Well, that would be nice. Hi. Hi, babies. Are you coming to say hello? You really gotta get some WD-40 on that. Come say hello to me. Come here, 
Let's see how far of you together. Come over here. One. What do you want to bet they come back as fast as I can get them? Two, you can see the huge size difference. Three. Four. <laughs> Actually held still much better than I thought they would. Did you? Didn't you? You got hay all on your face. So this will be a good example of we will probably see the size difference, see how much bigger these two are than those two. So we'll probably in the next day or two um, be taking uh, the bigger two out for a couple hours a day so that the little ones have access to all the milk. We'll see, we'll just keep an eye on how they're growing. me mad now. Look at him hopping already. <laughs> Um, quads are not uncommon, with um, especially with Nigerians. Uh, we had five does give birth in May, and three of them had quads. So, um, so no, it's not unusual. Uh, no, being with the boy doesn't cause the girls to be infertile. That can happen with cows. It's, it's possible to happen with goats, but very, 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 very rare. Awesome. So Deb says, PJ, I wanted to thank you for all the videos over the years. Evelyn, who is an Illinois daughter, I remember Evelyn, gave birth to twins last night. One was a little stuck. I checked and helped her deliver um, Superman. Awesome. We now have two happy kids and a happy mama. That makes me very happy. Uh, no, Tinkerbell's not gray. She's brown. Uh, Pamela says, are you keeping any? I might. Um, I might. I, uh... Um, we'll see. We had kept a, uh, a Topaz buck. We, we really like how Topaz milks and stuff. Um, so we'll see. I, ha I haven't decided on this group yet. Um, so we are, um, we always do what we find to be best for our goats and the, with our alpines, bottle raising was by far the best for them. They thrive on it. They do super well. So we switched to bottle raising the Nigerians two years ago and we've not been as happy with the results. Um, now one, one thing I haven't said before and I, I, I should, I should clarify is that I am not saying that bottle raising is not right for Nigerians. It is not right for our herd. 
okay? Everybody's herd is different. Everybody raises goats differently. Everybody has different numbers, different pastures, different setups. <laughs> and so uh, for us, we weren't happy with the results of the of the bottle raising with the Nigerians. So we are continuing to bottle raise our Alpines because the Alpines thrive. And we're gonna go, we're going back to dam raising the Nigerians and we're going to see um, if we make some changes to our practices, um, if that improves upon things. Flo's baby was climbing all over her. Flo's mean, not to us, but. There it goes again. She's like, my babies can climb on me, but you can't. I kind of hope you're just going to jump off of her. She did not want Esmeralda by her. Esmeralda's taking a big chance. I stopped filming him, he's gonna jump right off her. I know he is. You're the girl of the big ones. Yes, you are. So these guys are doing really well. So the girl has this white spot on her left. The boy has the white, I don't know, he's got one on his. Too. Okay, you have this white thing here. This little white thing there is the girl. What do you think, Miss Tinkerbell? Thumbelina is definitely the friendliest of them. Aren't you, little one? She was the tiniest when she was born first. Hi! feels better today. Hopefully it was just a little excess fluid. Yes, moms can definitely tell their babies and not. Some moms won't have, like Flo, won't have anything to do with other babies. Other moms are totally tolerant of, of other babies. Um, you know, if, if we do decide to keep dam raising the Nigerians, um, you know, you, you, you breed for different things. And you cull for different things when you're brooding and your practices are different. So... Um, if Flo can't learn to get along nicely with all the others, then, you know, that's, that, that affects how long she will stay on our farm. All right, Topaz. go up and do the puppies now so we'll see I'm gonna try and do a video of the puppies while they're awake today um, we'll see how so <laughs> if they're awake we may get a second Facebook live my battery will hold up if not we'll see if we can catch them live later hello little boy mr. Tumnus
say goodbye babies.